Hi guys, so welcome to another episode and today we're going to look at what to do if the background colour of your figure, maybe you've exported it as a PNG or you've inherited it from a collaborator as a PNG so you haven't had the opportunity to export it as an EPS file uh, as we discussed in one of the other episodes which I'll provide a link to. Um, so that's the ideal, export it as an EPS file but under some, ca under some circumstances you might inherit a PNG and the background colour of your PNG image, for example, the background color of your figure, maybe doesn't match the same hex color code in the background of After Effects and you still want to use that figure. And so this might be an example as we're demonstrating here where these two color codes are exactly the same. In After Effects, I've set the cyan color code to exactly the same hex color code to this um, ggplot export from our studio. Um, so the same hex color code has been used on the background of the ggplot as it has an After Effects. And so um, we might actually want to be achieving this, which is the EPS output where the background colors are identical, but we have this kind of situation and we want to work out how we can still use this existing PNG file uh, in our After Effects animation. And uh, I found a sort of cheeky way around this, so we're going to need to Adobe Illustrator for this. So if we just pop over to Adobe Illustrator and create a new project, um, this is just 1920 by 1080, but it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, and let's bring our PNG image in. So maybe, for example, the one we've exported from our studio as a PNG. So we'll just drag and drop that in here, uh, and it's absolutely massive. So I'll just hit Command and minus to zoom out a little bit, uh, and then grab the corner by clicking and then holding shift so that maintains the aspect ratio like this. If we release shift, we can move it all over the place, but hitting shift maintains the sort of ratio and then drag it and put it in the center. Okay, now the function that we're gonna be using here is the image trace function. Now, if you can't find this, if you just come up to window and come down here to image trace, and this little tick will appear and so should the window and this is what we're gonna be using. So uh, in order to select, say for example, your image isn't selected just here, just hit the, sh the V on the keyboard, that's the shortcut for the direct selection tool, or click it just up here in the tool plane, uh, and then we're just gonna click our image, and all of these grayed out functions and the image trace properties dialog box become visible. So because there's a really simple figure for us, there's only two colors, the cyan and the white here, what we're gonna set in this first preset dropdown box is just three colors. If you have a more complex uh, image, you might want to go for high fidelity photo just to preserve as much of the sort of detail as possible, but three colors will suit us. So we'll just click that and it does take a little while sometimes to initialize the pixel clustering, um, especially if you use the high fidelity photo, it does take a little bit longer, so just be aware of that. Um, and if, for example, the final product isn't exactly what we're after, so this is pretty good, it's fairly representative of the original image there, we can modify these parameters here, so the noise, the corners and the path, until we get something that is as representative of the original image um, that we're happy with. So once we're happy with it, we'll come up here and we'll select the expand button, and that's the first step done. And if we come over to the layer panel and we just drop this down, we can see that this is now a group of loads of different paths, whereas before it was just a single image. So the second step, make sure this is selected. So if it's not, again, hit V or select the selection tool up here and then click the, um, the image in the center. And then we're gonna come up to uh, edit, go down to edit colors, and we're gonna go to recolor artwork. So in here, we'll see that the colors that uh, our image is formed on, and in this first um, one here, we're just going to double click uh, and we're going to enter in the hex color code that we want it to look like. So the hex color code we've been using for this as the background in After Effects and the hex color code we actually set in ggplot before we exported this as a PNG was 004040. That's our cyan color. And then if we hit OK, you'll notice that the color of the background of the plot changes. If you've used high fidelity photo on this image trace, for example, just a little note, if you come over to colors and you select the drop down box, you can select the number of colors that you want to change and all of the different colors will appear here and you can go through and manually change and alter each color one by one. So if we click OK now, that should be everything we needed and we'll come up to file Then we're going to export this, export as, and we'll export this as another PNG. We'll call it something creative like our plot version two. Uh, and we'll click the export button, making sure that we've selected PNG from our format box here. 300 PPI is more than sufficient, and I tend to leave the background color as transparent, although you have an option of black and white just there, depending on your needs, and click OK. 
So now if we come back over to After Effects, so this is our original PNG image here that we exported from um, our studio or that we inherited with this slightly incorrect background color, but we want to make sure that it matches the hex background color that we really want to use. Uh, maybe for example, we have to fit brand guidelines for a particular university or something. Um, and so if we now bring in the image that we've just uh, exported, so that's our version two, we'll drag it here and drop. Then we'll bring it down to our composition and pop it over the top. Uh, that's rather large, so we'll just zoom out again as before in Illustrator. If we grab the corner, click shift and drag in, we maintain the aspect ratio and just rescale that. And then if we zoom in again, hopefully we'll be able to see that, oh, if we just turn the uh, one off underneath, so we'll be able to see that the image that we've now created um, is the same color as the background color. So if we toggle that on, and off we can see that it is in fact the same color as the cyan background color so we've effectively changed the color of the PNG image from our ggplot export for example or the figure that we've inherited uh, and we've been able to change it so that it matches exactly the same hex color code that After Effects is using and interpreting here, um, for our project. So I hope that was useful uh, if you've got any questions leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Cheers!